Hey everybody, today is October 6, 2018, and it looks like Microsoft has embarrassed themselves yet again with Windows 10. You know, the also wonderful best ever version of Windows that, upda that updates itself with new features every half year. Yeah, that version of Windows. So, Microsoft just released the October 2018 update for Windows 10, and they've already had to pull the update because of issues. Does it really not seem surprising? <laughs> it's why I prefer it's why I personally prefer to run Windows 10 Pro and have a group policy set on my machines to forbid the installation of Windows updates. And also to make matters even better, I actually have a little command script I run to disable the nag that you need updates and need to install updates. So I get zero zilch updates no, update notifications on my Windows 10. That's the way it should be. Um so anyways, um these computers that downloaded this new Windows 10 update, experienced a wide variety of issues, including when we're not limited to loss of files, can't connect to the Windows Store, among other things. The loss of files is a big one. Personally, I would be very, very upset if I installed this update on my machine and lost files such as, um, I don't know, files from... Christmas a few years ago when my uh, grandmother was still alive, you, you know, stuff like that, or important documents, you know, what have you, stuff that's important that you can't easily replace. So this update installed on probably I don't know exactly how many computers now. I, I mean I have to look into the more into details, but as far as I know, they're already starting to roll it. They were already starting to roll this out probably through Windows Update. Um, but it did get installed on some machines and some machines that got installed on, people lost files. They couldn't find their documents after the uh, update. And it's like, come on Microsoft, really? Now a while back, you guys may have seen one of my videos where a laptop was brought up for service because it was blue screening. Well of course it ran Windows 10 and um, Windows Update had installed some updates, and one of the updates broke in the, like a driver or something, broke the machine to where it would not boot up. I had to I had to back up files and clean install Windows. So yeah, Windows 10. I mean, I'm not trying to make this into a real serious like bash Windows 10 video, pro Windows 7 video. Now Windows 7 is nice and all, but it is getting dated. In matter of fact, some of the newer hardware um, out there, you can't even install it. On, for example, the new AMD Ryzen processors. Um, but Windows 10, you know, Windows 10 does have a lot of under the hood refinements. But a lot of the things I dislike about Windows 10 are all the freaking bloatware apps that you get with it, and also their methodology, their, their, their methodology of installing updates, making it automatic and automated, to where it's like, oh, screw the user, Microsoft on this computer, yeah. That's what that's, I'm sure is it's what it feels like to many. When you know, let's say if I go to a store and buy me a computer, I build a computer and I install Windows 10 on it. Um, I should be able to have control of when I can and cannot install updates. And I'm not talking about the um, you know the, the you know, bending the back over for just a little bit. You know, so essentially adding some functionality where you can delay updates for like I don't know a few weeks or so. Um, I'm talking about the 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 way you used to be able to customize Windows Update, for example, Windows 7, to where you could have install updates automatically, or download updates and let me choose when to install them, or you know, notify me, um, and I'll choose when to download and install updates or updates disabled. That is the that's what I prefer in Windows Update, not this crap they have Windows 10 to where if you're running the home version, when those, when those updates are installed automatically and without your permission. It's like, it, it's, it's like, who owns this computer? Microsoft or the end user who bought the thing? I mean, come on. So, I mean, Microsoft, do you, do you not get it? I mean, I understand with Windows 10, you want to take on a new approach as Windows as a service to where new features are delivered every half year or so, but um, <laughs> when you have crap like this happening to where people are losing their dang files and stuff like that, it's like, come on. 
What gives? I mean, you, you've you've been you've bent your back over for IT professionals by uh, releasing Windows 10 long-term servicing branch, which I ought to do a video on if I can manage to get my hands on a copy to evaluate. Um, so yeah, in case you didn't know, there is a version of Windows 10 out there called Windows 10 Long-Term Servicing Branch. To where you get all the improvements of Windows 10 under the hood, but you don't get all those freaking apps. You don't have the one to store, you don't have Cortana, none of the telemetry, none of, you know, none of the spyware. <laughs> Matter of fact, not even Microsoft Edge. Yeah, Windows 10 LTSP 2016 is awesome. My computer at work has it. It's, it I, I love it. It's, you know, it's Windows 10 without all the crap. And also, from my understanding, in Windows 10 LTSB, you have a lot more control of when you can download and install updates. And also, in Windows 10 LTSB, you get just the security hotfixes and stuff like that. Kind of like, you know, Windows 7. Yeah, yeah, like that. Um, <laughs> not, not this, um, not all this these new features and all none of the nags to get Office 365 or or to or use or set up a OneDrive account or none of that crap. So in case you didn't know, um, yeah, Microsoft failed it again. And <laughs> yeah, they, they screwed up again with the new one. The, this latest version of Windows 10 as of today, Windows 10. Um, I guess it's what 1809 or 1810. I don't know the exact code name, but it's the Windows 10 October 2018 update. Some computers installed it, and they are having serious enough issues to where Microsoft is like, oh, better get rid of that update. Better, pull, better stop releasing it. And, yeah, isn't that wonderful? I think it's hilarious. I mean, in a way, I think it's hilarious, but in another way, I, you know, I, I, it's frustrating, especially for someone who installed this update and it wrecked up their computer. When the previous version of Windows 10, 1803, was working fine. Matter of fact, the Mid Tower Deluxe is still running 1709. My laptop might still be running 1607. I mean, it's I, I do like some of the new features that they've rolled out in the newer builds of Windows 10. But Microsoft, for goodness sakes, quit using your quit using your home consumers and small businesses as guinea pigs for your operating system. That would be great. I'd appreciate that. I mean, come on. What gives? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little rant. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for your support.